Are you pregnant and want to dye your hair? Well, listen on because in today's episode of Dr. Nora, I take you through whether dyeing your hair in pregnancy is safe. Hair dyeing in pregnancy is such a big topic. There is so much information out there, but yet so little evidence to say whether or not it's safe during pregnancy. Now, there have been a number of different studies around the world that have been conducted to try and find out truly whether dyeing your hair in pregnancy is safe or not. Spoiler alert, it is considered to be safe in pregnancy after the first trimester. But let's jump into those studies. Now, there are a few studies out there. For example, there was one in Japan that looked at a cohort of 100,000 people that were pregnant who were actually exposed to hair chemicals in a day-to-day -day function as it was their occupation. And it showed that those people had an increased risk of stillbirth and fetal abnormalities. So this particular study showed that if you're exposed to hair chemicals as your primary function, that meant 35 hours per week, then you have an increased risk of having an adverse effect on your little one. However, other studies have shown that perhaps there are some long-term effects on babies who are exposed to hair dyeing in pregnancy. In fact, other studies have shown that there are potentially some increased risks of childhood cancers in people who had their hair dyed during pregnancy. But upon further reading, these studies actually just weren't quantified. In fact, it looked at a number of people who had been pregnant, say, 30 or 40 years ago, who had children with childhood cancers and asked them, what things do you think it was in your pregnancy that caused this? Now, obviously, this does rely on somebody recounting what happened in their pregnancy, and people are more likely to say that it was something in their pregnancy that made the child have that childhood cancer. And so these studies just simply aren't strong enough for, for us to say, yes, that is what caused their childhood cancer, for example, or an adverse effect on the baby. Now, in saying all of this, aside from all these big studies that we have, we really can't yet point a finger whether to say that hair dyeing during pregnancy is safe. But one general consensus out there is that if you are considering dyeing your hair in pregnancy, then the consensus is to wait until you're past the first trimester or the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. The first 12 weeks of pregnancy are so important for your little ones. So many major developments are happening. For example, their spinal cord is forming, their hair and nails are forming, their organs are forming. So many big things are forming. And so the general consensus is if you can hold up until you pass that first trimester and then dye your hair thereafter if you need to. Apart from waiting for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, there are some other tips and tricks that you can do to reduce your exposure to these chemicals. And it's thought that the amount of chemicals that get absorbed from the hair dyeing into your scalp are actually quite minimal, as long as you have a healthy scalp. Now, this isn't the case if, for example, you've got some burns or some abscesses on your scalp and the hair dye is going in there, because it means that you might have a slightly increased amount of absorption from the chemicals into your bloodstream. But generally speaking, by the time it goes down to your womb, it is thought that the amount of product that goes into the baby is actually really quite minimal. However, there are some tips and tricks that you can do to reduce the amount of exposure of chemicals to your body. For example, if you're planning to dye your hair, then stick to dyeing the shaft of the hair rather than the roots or any touch up. Because as I said before, the amount that is going through your bloodstream, through your scalp is minimal, but to reduce it even further, avoid the scalp altogether and simply dye the shaft of the hair. If you're also doing it yourself, then avoid any ammonia-based products and make sure you wear gloves and keep yourself in a really well-ventilated area. It's also important that if you are dyeing your hair, to put the dye on your hair as minimal time as possible and then rinse the scalp off straight after. If you're considering semi-permanent dyes such as vegetable dyes like henna, for example, these are actually considered safe during pregnancy and so you may want to go for a more natural look instead. But Dr. Nora, what happens if I'm a hairdresser and I need to do this for my job? Well, the same thing applies for you. Make sure that you wear gloves to reduce your exposure to the chemicals. Reduce the amount of time that you have around those chemicals as well. And take regular breaks and have really good ventilation in your hair salon. And if possible, try to reduce the exposure to those hair chemicals within the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. In saying all of that, although the risks are really minimal and it's thought that dyeing your hair in pregnancy after 12 weeks is considered safe, but you don't want to take those risks where you may want to consider wearing a wig, for example. Now, did you know that I'm actually wearing a wig right now? This is a really high quality wig that you can get online and I'll leave a link in the description below just in case you out there really want to change up your hair color and don't want to take the risks. I hope you guys have found this video useful and let me know in the comment section below if you yourself have dyed your hair during pregnancy or if you've steered well away from it. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.